I'm standing on the northeast corner of the campus, which uh, by consensus, and the state of Maryland agrees, is where we believe the original log chapel was constructed in 1693. Uh, Reverend Thomas Cockshut served as the first rector of All Saints Church then. And uh, as I said, we believe it was located in this section of our campus. As it says here, on the uh, intersection of the Severn Ridge Path and the road that led down to Coxtown. Now, we launched an expedition about 10, 15 years ago to try to find the foundation of that original building. Uh, we were told by the Historical Society that if we uh, struck rock and it was in some sort of uh, legible pattern that we uh, likely had found the foundation of the church since uh, the soil here is primarily sand and would not have large rock formations hidden underneath the surface. Well, we did our probing and what we found were bits and pieces of the old Route 2 that were used to build up the berm for the uh, current Route 2 which sits uh, on a high, uh, higher plane above me as I, as, I, as I speak. Our best guess now is that uh, the original church was found, was uh, located somewhere under uh, the service road or perhaps even under the uh, current Route 2 as it is configured. Uh, something that supports that is a bit of an urban legend. Uh, that when they were constructing Route 2 back in uh, 1960, I believe, in its current uh, configuration, uh, they uncovered graves uh, that uh, are an indication that the church is nearby, as that was the custom to bury close to the church building. In fact, we have two grave markers on this plot of land uh, that predate many of the uh, uh, stones which are found on the, uh, on the church grounds now as we know them in the cemetery as we have organized them. But again, a fascinating place to be, and uh, this is our point of origin uh, for All Saints Parish, 1692.